Hi, this is Dave Jack, Superintendent of Hawker Schools, with another video update. I have three things to cover with you quickly. Uh, all three relate to the instructional model and preparation for second term. Um, first and foremost, um, during the last school board meeting on November 23rd, I had sort of uh, shared information with the school board about the potential of moving to from the current hybrid instructional model to a 50 50 instructional model, which simply means, and I'm going to make this. Uh, I'm just going to give just a snippet of information about what the differences are in the two instructional models. Uh, right now, the current hybrid model is two days of in-person, uh, two days, or actually three days of asynchronous, and um, under the 50/50, it's two days of in-person and two days of live streaming from a classroom into from classroom into a student's home. Um, so I, I shared that with the board and. Um, share it with them early because I wanted them to they to have time to receive feedback etc for us to digest uh, continue to digest um, the sort of the barriers and the challenges associated with moving to this and there are many and what we've concluded and what was shared with the school board yesterday during the two by twos and what the school board shared with us during the two by two meeting two by two meetings just means uh, we're meeting with school board members two at a time it's a little better way to communicate directly without uh, breaking any rules as far as having a public meeting, so we meet with them two at a time. Uh, there really is, there's very little support from the school board to move to 50-50, which I completely understand after looking at the different barriers associated with moving to 50-50, and, and mostly they're technology related. Um, streaming every day from classrooms in, into homes is uh, going to be, a, it would be a monumental challenge, and frankly we just have many many homes that just simply can't do it even with the hotspots they provide even though with the hotspots we provide to families each of those hotspots has sort of a, you know, a weekly uh, ceiling or monthly uh, storage ceiling and you, you you eat that up quickly especially if you have more than one child in a home streaming and um, that's just a huge barrier for us and it's a huge barrier under the current hybrid model to be honest uh, so that plus the fact that we still have thousands of um, devices, mainly Chromebooks on back order. These are devices, many of which we ordered in you know July and August. They're, they continue to be on back order. We don't know when we're going to get them. And especially for middle and high school, there is a du direct connection between one to one and 50-50. And without devices for in kids' hands, um, reliable devices that they can carry to and from school, for example. It's just not doable, so I'm not recommending, going to recommend to the board any change to the model. I'm only uh, sharing with the board that we are going to make it better. And we've been talking to principals in the last couple of weeks about strategies for improving the current hybrid model. One of the biggest being we've got to bring all kids in. We've got to bring all kids into the instructional fold. And um, we've got to figure out ways, creative ways, out of the box, way, box ways to make sure that this has happened. We have a lot of kids that just they're not participating for whatever reason, and we've got to fix that. And we need parents' help to do that. Um, so you'll be hearing more from schools. And by the way, so schools understand, they recognize, they know who these these students are, who were not um, uh, effectively meeting with, communicating with, instructing, um, and, and mainly that's tied to instruct uh, technology. So principals are strategizing ways to bring kids in to the instructional fold and to make it a more meaningful experience but we really need parents help uh, to make this make this a reality uh, so stay tuned for more information from schools second there's a survey coming out today uh, it is a very short survey uh, just a few questions and they are related to things like um, uh, transportation and uh, choice between the hybrid versus all virtual uh, we need this information to arrange transportation and class configurations going into second term. So that's going to be coming out today. It's going to be a short turnaround on that. So we ask for your cooperation in completing that survey. Um, count, so that's coming out today. Help us out with that, please, if you can. Calendar changes. The only calendar change now then is um, right now January 4th is a teacher work day. We're going to add January 5th as a teacher work day also. January 6th would then be an asynchronous uh, day for students. January 7th would be an A day for students, and January 8th would be a B day for students. 
So the fourth is currently a work day. We're going to add the fifth as a work day for teachers. The sixth would be an asynchronous day. The seventh would be an A day for students. And then a uh, Friday would be a B day. And then on, on Monday the 11th, we would start all over as, we, as we're currently doing with AABB. Uh, so that's the only change right now on, on uh, as far as the calendar is concerned. Um, and I believe that's it. So those are the, the big things to look forward to. Again, we are going to stick with the, the current hybrid model that we've got. And we recognize that it's not perfect and it, it can't improve. And we are going to improve it. And that is the charge for principals. That's the charge for my staff. And, um, and we can really use your help, parents, uh, because we, we, the fact of the matter is we have a lot of kids who just, they are not participating for, every, for whatever reason. Uh, it could be perhaps related to technology, in-home technology uh, needs, or something else. But in either case, we're gonna, we need to troubleshoot it and fix it and, um, and make it better. Okay, last but not least, uh, we have promised first and second grade teachers um, support for classroom and support being another person in the classroom to help them with the little guys and girls. Um, so we're, we're going to do that. And what that means is the hiring of substitutes and um, additional substitutes, uh, bringing them in during the school day to help with those classrooms. Also, we're reaching out to classified staff because uh, we do have a, a dual employment option for a classified staff in Fauquier County, where they can have they can they can have two jobs. They can drive a bus, for example, and then go to the school and, and work in classrooms uh, or cafeteria or whatever. So we have that. So we're reaching out to classified staff and making the offer to them uh, because we need those those that help in those classrooms. And we are looking to expand the internet cafe option uh, for students. And that's going to also require supervision. So what I'm asking parents is if you're interested in volunteering at your child's school, we would really appreciate it. Uh, if you can reach out to your child's school, let them know that you'd be willing to volunteer maybe one day a week, maybe two days a week to help in your, in your child's classroom or in, in, a, in a different classroom, especially in first and second grade or and then in perhaps for the Internet cafes. It would be greatly appreciated and it would help us immensely. So that's my update. Um, we, we appreciate your support. Um, one of the, one of the, the, the positives of sticking with the, um, the current hybrid model is the alleviation of a lot of stress. And, um, and I will just say very candidly that once we presented this information to the school board and I shared with principals and teachers, for example, that this was something we were considering, it, it heightened folks' stress. And uh, I think it would also be a stressor for students, um, especially if they have technology issues at home. And we don't want to be the cause of more stress in your homes. I know sometimes it might be hard to, under, to believe that, but we don't want to be the cause of more stress in your home. People have enough stress right now. Uh, we want to make what we're doing better. We want to be more sensitive to the needs of parents and students. Uh, we want to be the people providing solutions and not roadblocks, and we don't want to stress people out further. We want to make what we're what we're doing now better. Uh, switching to another instructional format is stressful. No matter how you slice it, it does create quite a bit of stress on an already stressed um, uh, uh, teaching force uh, on parents, students, etc. So that's my update and I appreciate your support and you'll be hearing uh, again from us soon.